Big Review TV, I am really excited tonight because we're about to have an exclusive interview with Dr. Michu Kaku, who is one of the world's top physicists and also the co-founder of String Theory. Now, Big Review TV is gonna be looking for some smart answers to really big questions, so stay tuned. Well, Dr. Kaku, welcome to Sydney. Now, my father's been very supportive of me um, in developing Big Review TV to where it is today, right? But if I were to ask him if I could develop a particle accelerator in the garage, um, I have trouble letting off, let alone trying to get the keys to the car from him. Now, with you, you developed a particle accelerator in your parents' garage. Now, that is a really interesting story and I'd love to hear more. Well, I wanted to be part of this great revolution that I knew was going to change everything. So I went to my mom one day. And I said, Mom, can I have permission to build an atom smasher in the garage? <laughs> and she kind of looked at me and said, Sure. Why not? And don't forget to take out the garbage. So I went to Westinghouse and I got 400 pounds of raw transformer steel, 22 miles of copper wire, and I built an atom smasher on the high school football field. It produced 10,000 Gauss magnetic field. That's 20,000 times the Earth's magnetic field. I closed my eyes, I shut my ears, I turned on the power, six kilowatts of raw power surging through my machine, and then I heard this pop, pop, pop sound as I blew out all the circuit breakers and fuses in the house. And she would say, okay, where's the fuse box? And she must have thought to herself, why couldn't I have a son who plays baseball? Maybe if I buy him a basketball. And for God's sake, why can't you find a nice Japanese girlfriend? Now you're one of the world's top physicists and also the co-founder of String Theory. So, can you elaborate, what exactly is String Theory? Well, Einstein spent the last 30 years of his life chasing after the theory of everything. An equation no more than one inch long that would allow him to, quote, read the mind of God. Another big question that I'm sure everyone wants to know, time travel. Do you think it's possible? I think the answer is yes. Well, we think that time is a river. A river that can speed up or slows down, that's Einstein's picture. The new picture, coming from the string theory, is that the river of time can fork into two rivers. So when you go backwards in time to meet your teenage mother, she looks like your mother, she talks like your mother, but is not really your mother. It's your mother in another timeline that has split from your timeline. Einstein wanted a similar equation that would explain the universe. Everything. The Big Bang, which created the universe, the creation of galaxies, stars, planets, people, life, everything in a single equation, and he failed. Today, we think we have it. So my favorite Einstein quote is that unless a theory can be explained to a child, the theory is probably useless. Meaning that all great theories are based on a simple physical picture that even children can understand. Now think about E equals MC squared. Do you know what E and M represent? M represents matter, things, things you can touch. E is energy, meaning that matter, like in the sun, can turn into E, which is sunlight. That's the reason why the stars shine. Why do the stars twinkle and shine? Why do we have the sun? Why do we have the Earth? Because of E equals M squared. Now that equation is half an inch long. Einstein wanted a similar equation that would explain the universe. Everything. I've been studying Kabbalah for about a year or so now. And um, I really want to ask this question. Um, when did you become aware of some of the similarities between string theory? and also Zohar and Kabbalah. String theory is different from every other physical theory. Yeah. String theory says that 10 is special, 10 dimensions. Now think about it, we live in a three-dimensional world, duh. We live <laughs> in the world of length, width, and height. That's it, period, end of story. Anyone who talks about a fourth spatial dimension is considered a crackpot, considered nuts. 
<laughs> but we physicists now believe that there are other dimensions that we cannot see or feel. For example, if the universe is expanding, even children ask the question, Mommy, Daddy, what is it expanding into? The universe is expanding. The stars are moving away from us, and that's called a Doppler shift. So the universe is a bubble, a huge bubble. We live on the skin of the bubble. Well, if the universe is everything there is, how can everything there is expand into something else? There must be something else. And we think that something else is hyperspace, that is, other dimensions. 10, maybe 11 dimensions. But why 10? Yeah. It turns out that string theory is so mathematical, it has magic numbers. 10 and 26 come by over and over and over again. Now, I think you quoted that you said you're actually a bit um, dazzled about some of the similarities between the two, string theory and Kabbalah. Now, I'm going to be really cheeky. Did this lead you to maybe researching the Kabbalah to find maybe some sort of scientific research tips or anything like that? <laughs> <laughs> well, string theory, <laughs> string theory is pure mathematics. So, to get new insights into this is to get new insights into mathematics. Yeah. And so we physicists are becoming essentially mathematicians, <laughs> trying to learn more and more of the mathematics. Then the question of philosophy comes in, right? Because you ask yourself the question, well, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> and string theory, vibrating strings, creating music. I mean, these yeah. are pictures that even children can understand. Yeah. What is like, your favorite thing about science? Science explains the mystery of why things are the way they are. Why do stars shine? Now, we're born scientists, right? When we're born, we want to know what makes the sun shine. When we're born, we want to know where the winds come from. So when I go down the street and I look at the sun, I know why the sun shines. I also know how old the sun is, and I know when the earth, when the sun is going to die. Well. I cannot wait to read the rest of the book and thank you so much for taking the time to speak to Big TV. Thank you so much. Okay, my pleasure.